Hi, Eric Arakawa here, and I have a short message on costly grace. In the Garden of Gethsemane, the night before Jesus was to be crucified, Jesus prayed, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not my will, but as you will. He prayed again, My Father, if it cannot pass away unless I drink it, your will be done. And he prayed the same a third time. There was no other way. We look at the world around us and see plainly the result of the first act of sin and disobedience. It affected and infected everything and everyone in the world. There is this question, if God is good, why is there so much pain and suffering in the world? The critical question to answer is, why is the good and loving God hanging on a cross? In Romans 3.23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. This gift we received is free, but it was not cheap. This quote from Dietrich Bonhoeffer sums it up. Such grace is costly because it calls us to follow, and it is grace because it calls us to follow Jesus Christ. It is costly because it cost a man his life, and it is grace because it gives a man the only true life. It is costly because it condemns sin, and grace because it justifies a sinner. Above all, it is costly because it cost God the life of his son. You were bought with a price. And what has cost God so much cannot be cheap for us. Above all, it is grace because God did not reckon his son too dear a price to pay for our life, but delivered him up for us. Costly grace is the incarnation of God. This grace is so costly, it beckons us to follow him with our whole heart. Today, may you go forward with deep gratitude and worship as you follow our good, loving, and gracious God. Peace be with you. Amen.